Hello everyone, my name is Mark and I'm an animator and illustrator from London, England. And if you're watching this video, then I'm covering for Jazza today, who's gone off on a little holiday. I better make a bloody video. I'd like to do something animated. So if we're ready, let's begin. So I was watching a few Jazza videos recently which caught my interest. You may have seen them. It's the ones where he um, hires artists and animators from Fiverr to create artworks and illustrations for him. Now I will admit the final results that were delivered by the artists were kind of a mixed bag. There were some which were good. Like that's actually really great. Well done. Love you neighbour. That was actually really good. This is delightful. That's great! Oh, that's cool. How much did I pay for that? 220 bucks, that's fantastic. And there were some which were not so good. How much did I pay for that? $240. Oh. It's not what I was hoping for though. It's not what I was expecting and it doesn't feel like what I paid for. And I'm just being honest here. And I spent $350 on that. This is what they promised. This is Pixar level stuff. If I got anything half as good as that, for what I paid, I would be blown away and over the moon. It's a lie. They lie. They did not make that. They did not make that. But what did get my attention was the potential from the work that the good animators delivered. The work they delivered clearly showed good talent, knowledge, or at least dedication to the project. Additionally, the prices for these works were significantly less than if I was to hire a professional animator or artist elsewhere. And as I watched these videos, I thought, you know what? I think I could use these people. So looking at these Fiverr videos that Jazza made, the artists had complete creative control as to how the project would turn out. So when the results came back, there was a level of uncertainty regarding the final results of these projects. Which is, a, which is a no surprise. The artists had full creative license to take the project to whichever direction they wanted to. So based on the results of Jazz's video, let's do an experiment ourselves. I'm not a client with no artistic background. I'm an artist. I'm an animator. I'm a filmmaker. Animation is famously known for being extremely time consuming. I only have two hands and two eyes and 24 hours in a day. I as an individual filmmaker can only make so much. So on that basis, can I, as an artist, use Fiverr to find an artist to assist me in my films? Can I tightly control the production by providing the artist with guides and information so that they deliver results that satisfy me? With their assistance, can I reduce the amount of hours I work on a project? And can I get a good cost for the labour? Now that is something worth looking into. So let's begin. Now every now and again I myself create short cartoon comedy sketches and each cartoon short shows our main character Stan in an everyday situation, but it's then exaggerated for humorous purposes. Now, at the timing of this recording, Christmas is literally around the corner. So I'm thinking, let's create a Christmas-themed cartoon with our man Stan. So let's begin by planning out the cartoon with rough thumbnail sketches. So we'll start with, we'll start with Stan and his daughter sitting in the living room on Christmas Day morning. Stan holds up a gift for his daughter. The daughter opens the gift. The daughter pulls out a toy. The daughter throws the toy aside. Daughter places the box on top of herself and starts running around the living room. And then a Merry Christmas message appears on screen. So with the thumbnails complete, I can see if generally the film works, which I feel it does. Now what I need to do is prepare the animated scene. I need to decide what work I can do and what work I can delegate to the artist. So the software I'm using to create this animation is called Rough Animator. It's a simple and limited app, but it's great for creating frame by frame animation. So first off, I redrew the thumbnail images into my animation timeline. Still keeping it rough, I'm only focusing on gesture, composition and timing. Now I found after viewing this scene, that watching the kid in the box walking off stage and back on stage, it didn't add anything to the scene. So instead, I just made the kid continuously walk into the dad from the start. This, this to me feels a lot better. So now that we're happy with the overall pacing and layout of the film, is this enough to send to the artist? No, I don't feel it is. I think for this experiment to be a success, I need to continue working on the scene more. I'm going to act as the key animator. My role is to create the key drawings that tell the story of this animation. I will then delegate the project to the to the other artist who will act as the in-betweener. Now I start by constructing the characters from shapes to create structure and form and I usually do this in a, a blue or a red pencil. Then when I'm happy I will continue adding details to the characters such as facial features, fingers, 
hair, clothing. Once I am happy with the construction of the character in each frame, I will then tie down the artwork and indicating where the final line work will be placed. So now we've got the keyframes drafted out into the scene. Is that enough to centre the artist? No! I don't feel it is. You see, even though the scene is keyed out, there is still an opportunity for the assistant to create results which were not expected. We need to provide them with more information to ensure that the artist's in-betweens turn out exactly to plan. Let me explain. As you can see, here are the keyframes of a tube moving from A to B. Now, the key animator may be thinking, I want to move my tube across the screen horizontally. But the keyframes we have provided are not telling this story. So as far as anyone else is concerned, the tube could move from A to B like this. Or like this. We need to provide an extra keyframe which tells the assistant how the tube will move from position A to position B. But that's not the only breakdown keyframe we need. What if I want the tube to show anticipation before it moves? Then I need to add another breakdown keyframe to show that. What if I want the tube to follow through once it lands at position B? Then I need to create a keyframe for this too. So I made the breakdown keyframes for the cartoon. And here are the results. I additionally created the final inked lines for each keyframe as well, just to help the artist out. So now I feel there is ample information and content within the scene to help the artist do their job. Now it's time to find the artist. Searching for an artist on Fiverr was no easy task. There is a huge range to choose from. Good quality animators, bad quality animators, animators with no drawing experience, and animators who, I question, did they make their showreel pieces or did they steal them? Now, given the project is a hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation, I have three criteria that the artists need to fulfill. Number one, they need good animation skills. Number two, they need to have good drawing skills. It's a frame-by-frame -frame animation. They're gonna need to draw them frames. And number three, they need to use the Rough Animator app, as this is the app I'm using to create the cartoon. Now, from 25 pages of results and a few hours of looking, I managed to find animators with potential. From the results, two animators were already booked. One animator wasn't interested in the project. Two animators didn't use the Rough Animator app, which narrowed it down to three very good candidates. And the main reason I went with my choice is that this animator was quick with responses to all my messages. So a deal was made with the artist and I provided them with the animation scene and they went off to begin the work. So time went by, the artist completed the work and delivered to me on the promised date. Here are the results. So my first thoughts were that I'm impressed. The animators performed everything I requested. The art style doesn't differ from my original drawings. Admittedly, there are one or two slight issues. The pacing of the film also seems really sluggish now that all the frames have been added, but in fairness, that's down to me, not the animator. I planned the timing of this scene, my fault. But the good news is that all these issues I've just covered are very easy to fix. And overall, this is a really good result, especially for a first attempt from the artist. So I spent a little time making the amendments, adjusted the timings of some frames, threw in a background and composited it in After Effects. And here are the results. Go everybody, the film is completed, and I think it's turned out better than what I expected. So let's refer back to our original mission statements to see if the experiment was a success or not. Number one, can I use Fiverr to find an artist to assist me in my film? And the answer to that is yes, yes I can. I had to be careful with who I picked. I had to spend a lot of time, a lot of time studying each profile, as there's a mixed bag of talent out there on Fiverr. Some are great, some are not so great. But with a little patience, I was able to find the right candidate for the job. Number two, can I control the production by providing the artist with guides and information that will satisfy me? The answer is yes again. By acting as key animator in this project, I create the keyframes for this scene, therefore specifying how the scene should look and be timed. This procedure reduces the amount of creative control that the other artist has on this project and strongly guides the artist when producing the in-betweens. And I couldn't be happier with the result. Number three, with the assistance, can I reduce the hours I work on a project? The answer is yes. I calculate that by bringing on another artist, I was able to save eight to 10 hours of work. Now that is a welcomed reduction of work. It allows me to concentrate on other things, either not work as much, or take on much bigger projects knowing I can deliver them in a reasonable time. And number four, can I get the labor at a reasonable cost? I made an agreement with the artist, 
for the work of in-betweening and colouring the scene, which came up to £100 or 131 US dollars. I think that was a good cost given the amount of work and the quality of work that the artist delivered. I'll be honest, I was so impressed, I actually heavily tipped her on top of this for a job well done. Anyways, that's it from me. I, I hope you like this video. Come and visit me on my YouTube channel. I'm intending on producing many more videos like this. Anyway, that's it from me. All the best and have a good day.